Hey guys, what's up? You welcome back to my channel. My name is Nayuchi and this is still the Nayuchi show. If this is the first time I've seen my face, just kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell because you should be getting more of my videos. If this is not your first time, you're welcome back. Today, I would be doing something different. Um, actually, this was a collaboration between my friend and I. I actually went to the channel to switch them Ibo, but I was thinking of posting this video still on my channel because I haven't had a section where I taught you guys how to speak Ibo. So today, I'll be doing... Uh, teaching you guys how to speak Igbo 101 I'll just be starting with the basics because before you, before you learn a language you have to start with the basics right so I'll start with the basics I'll be teaching you guys like 10 sentences in Igbo if you're not Igbo and you want to learn or you want to speak these are the sentences you come across on a normal day so and I hope you guys learn okay because I'm starting with the basics and at the end of this session if you feel you want to still learn more just give us a shout out just let us know in the comment section and we'll come back um, to teach you guys more so let's get right into this video okay for better understanding I would be writing out the words here on the screen so that in case you didn't pick up what I said you can easily pick it up from the screen so the number one here I have good morning good morning obviously it's an English word but if you want to say good morning in Igbo say you're not Igbo and you have an Igbo boyfriend and you want to impress your boyfriend or anybody whosoever good morning in, in Igbo is Ototoma mm -hmm. I'm Igbo I am so I basically know how to speak Igbo 100% so good morning in, in Igbo is Ototoma and don't forget to Igbo is like really broad we have so many languages but this one it's um uh, the common language this one is a common language like everybody can definitely use it so you um, good morning is ototo oma all right all right all right let's hear you say it again ototo oma ototo oma ototo is morning ototo is morning then good is oma so you just have to combine it you have to join it together so good morning ototo oma let me hear you say it mm-hmm so I'm just gonna write it over here for you to know that's the number one and that is what I that's like the number one thing you should always learn you should learn in Igbo because you always have to greet someone every time so good morning I hope you guys learned it I hope you caught it don't forget it okay so number two I have here is how are you how are you how to say that in Igbo is kedu Utsi Miri. Hey, hey, God. Walade. <laughs> How are you doing? How are you faring? How are you? The how to say it in Igbo is Kedu Utsi Miri or Kedu Utsu Ide. Or if you want to just like say it short, like short course, you just want to just do short course, you just be like Kedo okay so how are you it's like three sentences you can just say kedu which is worn or you could say kedu otsi mere or kedu otsu ide so that is the Igbo pronunciation that's the Igbo translation of how are you okay let me hear you say it kedu otsu imere i hope you learned this one i hope you learned it if you're Igbo and you have other ways they say it in your language or in your yeah in your village please kindly drop it in the comment section but these i'm trying i'm i'm translating it in a common Igbo language okay so that is number two number three is my name is if you want to do introduce yourself in Igbo my name is Nonye my name is Noye. I'm going to use myself as an example. My name is Noye. To translate it in Igbo is Afamobo Noye. Okay, let's retrace it there. I'm from Anambra State. So Anambra, instead of using Aham, they use Afam. You know, Anambra, they always use F in their, you know, when speaking. So, but let me just use the common language. My name is Noye. To translate it is Ahamobo. Okay, let me hear you say it. Okay, 
I have more bononye. Remember, when you're done watching this video, please kindly write it all down if you're interested in learning so that it could be helpful for you, okay? Because you don't know where you're going to, who you're going to come across, okay? I'm going to write this on the screen. The next one here is how much is this? Say you want to go to the market and buy something or you want to, you know, buy something. Um, you're definitely going to price. How much is this? How much is this? To translate it in Igbo is... Ego le boefa. Hey, God. <laughs> and I'm brown, will not leave my tongue. Okay, that is it. How much is this? Ego ne boefa. Ego ne bo ifa. See, I'm pronouncing it, but I pronounce it like that. Ego ne boefa. Okay, that is the pronunciation of how much as a translation of how much is this and the fifth one I have is where are you from? As I said, these are the basics. These are the random things you definitely come across or you you can help but ask someone. So where are you from? To translate it in Igbo is Kebe Isi It's either Kedo Ebe Isi or Kebe Isi Okay, that's the translation of it. Kedu Ebe Isi. That is where are you from? So don't forget, it's definitely gonna be on the screen for you. Kedu Ebe Isi. Where are you from? I hope you guys are catching it. Okay, I hope I'm not too fast. I'm teaching you guys how to speak Igbo, so I hope I'm not too fast. Kedu Ebe Isi. That's where are you from? Okay, the sixth one I have is I love you. Oh. <laughs> I told you I'm gonna start with the basics I mean you definitely have to tell someone I love you every single time so if you want to tell your parents your siblings your boyfriend or your girlfriend I love you to translate it in Igbo is ah forum genanya ah I'm speaking an number too much ah forum genanya yeah that is the translation of I love you ah forum genanya what did I say? Aforongi nanya. That is the translation. Let me um say that once. Aforongi nanya. That is the translation of I love you. Okay. The seventh one I have is please, please, please help me do this. Please help me do that. Please get this for me. But I'm just tagging just the please. So if you want to say please, the translation of it in Igbo is biko. Biko, this one is simple, very, very simple, straight to the point. Please, Biko, okay? These are words that you come across every day that you can't help but use them every day. So if you want to say please, you use Biko, okay? The next one I have is sorry. Sorry, very important word, very strong word. If you want to say sorry in Igbo, is Ndo, okay? I hope you got this one. If you want to say sorry, you say ndo. I hope you're guessing it too. Don't make me be a bad teacher. Not at the end of this, you will not hear me or you don't understand. So you want to say sorry, you say ndo. Okay, and we're almost coming to the end of this video. Number nine to one I have is have you eaten? Have you eaten? Have you eaten this morning? Have you eaten this afternoon? Have you eaten this night? Have you had your breakfast? Have you eaten? Is irena ni. Mm hmm Irena ni Irena ni that is Irena ni have you eaten ni or only ni is food is food okay so Irena is asking have you have you eaten have you eaten so Irena ni is have you eaten in Igbo I hope I'm not confusing you all I hope I'm not confusing you all Okay, the last but not the least I have is good night. I mean, we're going to be ending this video with good night, y'all, because I'm, I'm done taking over this channel for today. Good night is kachifo. Kachifo. You could say kachifo or you could say kachibo. Okay, you could use them interchangeably. Good night is kachifo or kachibo okay for sure i had fun during this i had fun teaching you guys how to speak Igbo. 
for me i'm not a fast learner yeah but i don't know if you are but if you are a fast learner and just watching this video could make you learn how to speak these few words then i'm so excited but me i think it might probably take like a whole a month before i learn all this but yeah so i hope uh, i have taught you guys this don't forget to go ahead and rehearse don't forget to go back and rehearse on it if you're so keen on learning Igbo. okay it's teaching you guys how to speak Igbo 101 as I said if you guys enjoyed this and you want me to come again and teach you guys another part just let me know in the comment section and I will do that okay and again if you're if you also have other ways of translating what I just said in Igbo also do that in the comment section it's okay to like come your way next time